You look, you always look amazing, but you look, you look in all, all in brown, you look like the most beautiful churro <laughs> I have ever laid eyes on. Ah, thank you. Wait a minute. And, and those shoes are fantastic. Thank you, they're Brian, At Brian Atwood. You know he's Mexican. Brian Atwood is Mexican? Yeah. Well, tell him to change his name back because his shoes are badass. <laughs> I think great. He's great. He's Have you great. fallen off those? I fall all the time without shoes, so it's not it's not due to because of him. What does that come from, though? Is it an inner ear infection, maybe? I know. <laughs> that, mostly I'm drunk. Oh. No, okay. Okay. Now, <laughs> hey, no, that's kidding. So last night was the finale of Desperate Housewives. Congratulations. Nice. So they did amazingly well. It was really it's good. It's always done well. Yeah. Yeah. Now I knew at some point you were gonna end up killing somebody. What, what's going on over there? <laughs> I killed Tony Plata, no? <laughs> um, well, that was my stepdad, and he was pretty pretty evil. Evil to you, yes. Yeah, yeah, and it was amazing. It was, it was funny, because I guess, the, you know, when it airs on the East Coast, I got 1,500 tweets in like 30 seconds, and I go, oh God, what's happening? You know, whenever you get like yeah. a lot of tweets, you're like, something happened with me and the press, or something, and it was all about how great the finale was. Yeah. It was great. Yeah. Are you still having fun doing it? Yeah. Will you be back next year? Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> Now, there's a bit of like a law thing going on between Nicolette Sheridan and Mark Cherry, who created Desperate Housewives. Yeah. How did you get involved in that? I know. How did I get involved? I was like, why did I get pulled into this? No, because we all have to be, uh, we have to give a deposition or something because of what they're fighting about. But um, yeah, I just saw that it, it, her deposition came out that Mark had said these mean things, but it was at my wedding and Mark, Mark Cherry did a toast and the toast is like a roast. So it makes fun of you. And right. I don't know what she had said, but it was not anything close to what he had said. And you laughed. Everybody laughed. Like Popovich did a toast to Tony and roasted him too, you know? Right. So it wasn't like, if you take a sentence out of context, you can always... And, and that's what it is. Yeah. All right, that's what it is. In case you want to know, she just told you. Yeah. All right. I think you're the first person to ask me about that. That's funny. She's kind of afraid of you. <laughs> and also... Because you know I'll tell you anything. That's right, and I love you. That, and, that, and that helps. Now, you, you, you're, you're, very, you're getting very known at throwing parties. Like you throw Victoria Beckham a, a baby shower. Yeah, yeah, I threw, yeah, Victoria a shower. Yeah. She never had a shower. They don't do showers in England. The baby well, showers. Well, they don't do, they don't fix their teeth either. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. They don't do showers. No. They don't go to the baby gym. showers. Oh, a baby shower. They don't do baby showers, yeah. So but how, so how, she must have been excited her she first. She was so excited, but she was really nervous because she's not a game person. Remember, you had David on and, and we yeah. always invite them to game night and stuff and they're very shy and timid and I'm always like, ah! <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> what games go on at, 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 a, at a lady's baby shower? There's a, lot of, there's a lot of games. And I'm like the game master, yes. so uh, I, I, I actually pulled back because I, I didn't want to scare her too <laughs> I much. Pulled I pulled back on my game. But I know we, you know, we play the baby game, but the, the picture that she tweeted out was um, we had everybody make, she's having a girl, so we had everybody make a princess dress out of toilet paper from their table. That's like a tame game, though. That's a tame one, yeah. Somebody told me that you asked her to wear like a rubber dress. No. So that she wouldn't get... <laughs> no, Ken Pavis, my hairdresser, <laughs> who uh, co-hosted the shower with me, he kept screwing with her because she goes, what do you do at the party? I don't know what you do at the shower. <laughs> and so... Um, <laughs> I know. That's fantastic. <laughs> goes, so Kenny kept scaring her. He's like, oh, honey, it'll be fun. Just wear something waterproof. And then the next day he goes, oh, it'll be fun. Just bring an umbrella. Or, oh, it'll be... And so she kept going... Are you serious? Like, <laughs> she didn't know what to expect. So you wrap yourselves in toilet. This is the picture that you tweeted. What's going on I, here? This is, Victoria tweeted this. This is the winners of the dress making contest for a princess dress. Are those the hottest mummies you've ever seen? <laughs> and. She tweeted that, yeah. With all that toilet paper, that's still less than a woman will use when she goes to the bathroom. <laughs> Now, how, how was your birthday party? Your birthday party had a theme this year. 20s, we had the 1920s, yeah. How, how, and you didn't come, n nor did you get me a gift. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, I didn't. You didn't give me I a gift. I thought Mario was gonna put my name on his. <laughs> on, on the card. Now, you were just at the White House. Let's talk about yeah, your yeah. visit to the White House. Yeah. And, and your political involvement. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Are you happy with where we are politically? Uh, oh, that's such a loaded question. Um, in regards to, in regards to immigration? You, part of it. You, I'm happy you're on this side of the border. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
No, you know, it's a very complicated issue, immigration reform. That's why I was there. We were talking about the, the future of Hispanics. Right. Uh, and improving education. And then also um, I immigration reform and why it's being held up. And so we had a really candid conversation with President Obama. And there's about uh, 10 of us that are influential in the media. Uh, he's been having these meetings with a lot of people who are the messengers. So people listen to you, people listen to me. And Very so smart. Well, it's important because there's so much misinformation out there about immigration. Um, and so it's important to know exactly what is the White House doing? What's the administration doing? Why are they being blocked? What are their obstacles? And then for us to take that uh, and reframe the message to uh, take it away from a xenophobic um, dialogue, you know, where people right. are like, I hate Mexicans. And it's like, well, all immigrants in America are not Mexicans. True. 50 well, million so. of us are legal. Right. <laughs> There's more legal than, than illegal. Yeah. And, and yeah, they yeah, come yeah. from all over the world. Yeah. I'll put it to you so that Mexicans have become like the Louboutin of illegal immigrants. Right, right. We're like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But you know what? The, 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 the really the dynamic thing that's happening is that we have kids today are not competing with um, the kid from Oklahoma or the other kid educationally. They're not competing with other states. We're competing with the kids from China. We're competing right. with kids from Germany. So we're in a global economy. Global. And we, United States, have our own emerging market right here with the Latinos. And we're, and we're not taking advantage of that. And so that's what we have to Well have said. To do. Thank well you. said. And when you talk like that, we end up on the wall. Mi tierra in San Antonio. I Fantastic. Know! I want to show you. Mi tierra in San Antonio. My favorite Mexican restaurant. They have my, they painted me on the wall. Wait a minute. Wall. They painted her and they painted me. Here's Eva from Mi tierra. Here's a picture of Eva. How fantastically <laughs> gorgeous. <laughs> Beautiful. You have that. Lovely. Now look at my picture on the same wall. And then, look at the person next to me, same face. The person next to me is the same face, but with a wig like a Mexican Tootsie. How is that? That's me and Dre. When we come back, we're gonna make a recipe from Eva's new cookbook, Eva's Kitchen. We'll be right back. Eva Longo!